So my teacher wants us all to present next class and he compared it to speed dating. I was like, what? <laughs> Out of all the things you could have said, just like speed dating? What? <laughs> That's so weird. I don't know. Plantation, we're coming for you. Today's the first day of sectionals. <laughs> really? My God. <laughs> it's like the train. It's like the train, yes. Oh, wait, it's an interruption. Go, Miguel. Go, Taylor. Diego got best time on the 50. Another part of sectionals preparation is rest. I'm exhausted. And I have a class going on over there. But honestly, I really, really don't care for it right now. He's been putting me to sleep. And I had to do this every day on the vacation in the hotel. Or, not every day, but Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Not fun. Are you serious? He was like about to finish and then now someone else wants to present right now. Come on, he said he was almost done. No. Oh well, I'm good here. And oddly enough, before I chose this shirt, I did not realize that it was actually a sectional shirt from the years before. So hopefully that's a good sign. The race was not very good. It was actually quite horrible. But there is one win today. I actually got to vlog with an Olympian today. Her name is Alia Atkinson and here's my little interview with her. We're about to have an Olympian in the vlog. All right guys, so this is the first Olympian I'm gonna have in the vlog. Her name is Alia Atkinson and she's an awesome brushstroker and flyer. Hi guys. What did you think of setting a world record and how do you think that change the sport Ooh, i think it definitely put more importance in age is not a big factor um i think okay. i was 26 27 i'm 32 now so just being in the sport for this long i've seen it progress to extraordinary lengths um i've seen more people of color get into the sport which is great um and just excite my country as well having jamaica be behind me and then seeing a swimmer on top of the world um, is something that they never expected. Um, awesome. So it's really cool. If you had one message to tell to the world, what would it be? Ooh, that's Motivational, cool. whatever you want. Um, I think having a dream is very important, guys. Um, but not just holding it inside. If you have a dream, make sure you tell everyone. Um, you give yourself that accountability. You tell your coaches, your family, your teammates. Um, and they will also help you achieve that goal. So have a goal, no matter what it is, or how big it is, or how bizarre it is, and then hold true, hold true to it. Um, and keep on going until you get it. That's great. Awesome. Also, one more note. Yep. You are one of the Thank nicest you. Olympians I've ever met. So Yay! that's awesome. <laughs> Good luck tonight. Ah, oh, this hurts so much. But I know it's gonna help a lot better after. My arms are absolutely dead. I mean, the pain on my arms is way worse than what this is doing right now. So, it's loosening it up, I guess. Also, this is pretty random, but the importance of networking. There's this famous YouTuber named Steven Shapiro and he has this like community number type thing and I was on it because like I'm a fan of him and stuff like that. So he texted out to all the Florida peeps, he says. And uh, he was asking a question. I answered, he replied, whatever and stuff like that. And then I mentioned something how I run my own channel and he said like to send him my channel and he'll check it out. So. That's pretty cool. And who knows, one day maybe if he needs help on a prank or something, maybe I can help him. So yeah, connections are important. And he's almost at a million subscribers, so if you haven't seen his channel, check it out. I'll tag it here or in the description. No. 